Welcome to edition number one of Hawaii Army Weekly Video Magazine. During the coming weeks and months, our goal is to increase your awareness of our installation and provide insights about Army life in Hawaii. We begin with a story about our Hawaii environment and about the delicate ecosystem that makes Hawaii a unique and fragile home to hundreds of plant species. I think what people need to know is that there has definitely been a paradigm shift for the Army over time as far as their environmental awareness. I've been here for five years and both of the garrison commanders that I've had the pleasure of working with have been well versed in environmental issues before they ever step foot in that door. Botanist Michelle Mansker understands Army Garrison in Hawaii's commitment to natural resource conservation. Through USAG High, she heads a program that oversees the conservation of 73 federally listed species, mostly plant life. There is growing prestige and recognition in the work done here. For the second time in three years, U.S. Army Garrison Hawaii is the recipient of the Military Conservation Partner Award, presented by the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service at the 74th North American Wildlife and Natural Resources Conference in Virginia. Well, this is a terrific uh, honor uh, and award for the installation. Um, you know, it represents the, uh, the great efforts of uh, not just a few folks involved in our environmental, natural resource, and cultural resource programs. And this is testament to their passion um, and caring for that program and our environment here in Hawaii. Through support and encouragement, the Environmental Division of the Garrison's Department of Public Works has grown dramatically from Ms. Mansker and five contract workers to full-time and contract support totaling 53 professionals. Hawaii's unique ecosystem serves as a botanist's dream laboratory. People like to call Hawaii a natural, a natural laboratory because you may have uh, had one seed get here every 10,000 years and from that you may have 20 species that evolved. One of the Hawaiian mints went extinct in the forest and we had been working with that population, had seeds, were able to grow the plants back out and put them back out into the wild. Plants are nurtured in three greenhouses located at different elevations so plants can be halfway housed before reintroduced into their natural habitat. Thousands of plantings are reintroduced into the wild each year, oftentimes involving traveling to remote and geographically treacherous locations during the wet season, usually October through February. Many locations can only be accessed by helicopter and by rappelling down treacherous cliffs. Well, the Army realizes that uh, you know, we are guests here in Hawaii. Uh, we have a huge footprint uh, with regards to our installations, our training areas, uh, and that type of thing. We need to make sure that we uh, do our very best to protect and preserve those areas. Uh, so I think this award is just testament to the Army's commitment uh, to doing that. Garrison Hawaii and Mansker received statewide recognition when the official state flower became endangered after a brush fire and was nearly lost, except through the efforts of this program. This species right here is the state of Hawaii flower. It's very indicative of the situation in Hawaii and that this is in fact an endangered species. This is one of the species that we are shepherding. We lost 98% of the individuals of this species left on Oahu in a fire two years ago. And thanks to the Army's management efforts, we're able to put this back out into the field so that population's not lost forever. The rescue of the hibiscus is one of many success stories. Daily work is performed in remote places such as Makua Valley and here at Palikea in the Waianae Mountains. Workers reintroduce plants to their native habitat. This day, they are setting traps to reduce rodent danger to protect the Oahu tree snail in cooperation with the Nature Conservancy. Yeah, out here, we come out here like every other week. Oh. Um, this is one of the places we come to the most, just because there's a really high population of, of snails. And right now, other places that we're doing, we're baiting for birds, since it's um, Elipile nesting season, we go out about every week to re, to rebait. Mansker began her career with the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service, but now sees the Army in Hawaii as the primary environmental catalyst here. This is due in part to command's recognition in recent years about the need to be good stewards of the land. Threat control is mainly what we do. Um, ungulates, 
hoofed mammals, cattle, sheep, goats, pigs are not native to Hawaii. They were introduced here um, mostly for hunting purposes and they wreak havoc on the native forest. Not only do they eat the plants, but they dig up wallows in the ground that breed mosquitoes that carry avian malaria that prey on the native forest birds. So we are out counteracting those impacts on a daily basis. That's what the staff do. They are actually up repelling off of cliffs to collect plant species, putting in fences, getting rid of ungulates, banding birds, controlling rats around the native forest birds during the breeding season. There's a whole host of threats and so without this kind of work going on on the ground, um, there's no way these species would survive long term. Um, and there's a long history here in Hawaii with past garrison commanders and some of the folks who've worked here um, in Hawaii uh, to kind of try to be at the forefront of our, uh, our conservation as well as our sustainment efforts here. And uh, Hawaii is starting to get more and more of a name for itself uh, with regards to our efforts. For a better look at what is being done to preserve our natural resources here on Schofield Barracks, next month the Environmental Division of the Department of Public Works will host an open house at their greenhouse located near Area X.